We're live. Don't touch it. Come on. All right, you ready? You gonna hop up here? Good evening, world of Facebook. Tonight is night 10 of 12 of A Dial Father's Christmas Reading. This evening we're going to read a brand new book that Roxy got just today, right? Let It Snow by Holly Hobby. Is that right? Yep. Holly Hobby. All right. Oh, man. A lot of pages in here. I should have thought about that before we started, huh? Let's see how it goes. That's why I said to read it. Oh, you didn't want me to read it? Because... because yep, didn't me read it, really? Didn't me read it as fast as I've ever read a book in my life? Mm -hmm. Okay. To Brett. We still got to show him all the pictures, though, right? Okay. Christmas was just around the corner, The and Puddle hadn't seen a single snowflake yet. Just let it snow. He wistfully pleaded to the sky. There had to be snow. That was real fast. His friend Toot was more concerned about another matter altogether. He wanted to give Puddle a wonderful surprise for Christmas. The best present ever. He knew that the best present ever was usually something you made yourself. A one-of-a-kind thingamajig. Not just a What's it anyone could buy in a store? One year he made Puddle a bright red sled. They named it the WP Rocket. Another year he gave his pal a mysterious seed pod. They waited half the winter to see how it would bloom. And just last Christmas he presented Puddle with a real raft. Big enough for two, the WP Pond Lily Queen. They couldn't wait until it was spring to launch it. This year, though, Toot was really stumped. Puddle was a contented home, homebody. He was a cook and a gardener and an artist. He loved trees and birds in his own backyard. He was certainly the best friend you could have. Had, you could have. What could he possibly give old, good old Puds for Christmas? Are you tired? Perfect. Worked again. Of course, Puddle was asking himself the same question about Toot. One year, he knit him a wool sweater, a robin egg, oh, robin egg blue. Another Christmas, he gave him a purple ball for bouncing for balancing on. Then there was a year Puddle's giant plum pudding, which kept them merrily stuffed for a month. When Puddle phoned his cousin Opal to ask her to ask her opinion, she said. A little cuddly something would be nice, like a homemade doll. For Toot? Really? asked Puddle. I think you like that, Opal replied sweetly. sweetly. When Toot called Opal with the same question concerning Puddle, she said the same thing. Maybe a homemade doll of some kind. A doll? Toot was puzzled. Something soft and cute, she said. The path through the woods be became a magical journey. The two friends skied along in silence, stirred by the beauty surrounding them. When they stopped to rest, Puddle said, I wish I could take this morning and put it in my pocket and keep it forever. Me too, Toot sighed. It's perfect. What was it? The walk and just the, the beauty around them. Mm. See? They wanted the to beauty surrounding them. That's it. Did they want to take it home? All yeah, they want to take it home forever. All of it? Yep. <laughs> but then by evening, hard rain began to fall. Oh no, Puddle pr protested. And by the next day, the glorious snow was gone. I can't believe it, Toot frowned. Neither can I, Puddle said sadly. I was all set to go sledding. His spirits had been momentarily dampened. So we're getting close to the end. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Still, Christmas was coming. It was almost here. Snow or no snow. And the two friends soon plunged into a state of busy excitement. Come on. 
As for presents, Toot spent every spare minute in his wood shop in the basement, clearly inspired at last. That's where my wood shop sat in the basement. Mm -hmm. And Puddle was up to something equally private and absorbing in the attic. On Christmas Eve, the two friends emerged from their workrooms, and each of them carried a handsomely wrapped something or other. Wouldn't you like to open your present right now? Toot asked. We have to wait until tomorrow, Puddle said, when Opal comes. Christmas morning in Woodstock Pocket was brimming with anticipation. Opal soon arrived. As the youngest, she was the first open presents. How did you know what I wanted? She, re she wondered appreciatively. It was just a lucky guess, said Puddle. What will you name them? Well, said Opal, I'll have to get with... Get to know them first. One is probably a toot, and one is probably a puddle. What is a puddle? Puddle asked. And what in the world is a toot? Said toot. You know, Opal replied. I'm sure they're best friends, but one is one way and one is the other. Oh, the friends said together. Merry Christmas! Toot beamed, presenting his enormous gift to puddle. His friend unwrapped the package slowly and carefully. I love it, said Puddle. I made it myself, Toot said proudly. I know. It's for sledding. Snow or no snow. Let's go sledding today, said Opal. And Merry Christmas to you, Puddle said, presenting his package. Keep it appropriate. Toot tried to remain calm, but couldn't quite suppress his eagerness. It's you and me, said Puddle shyly. He added, that snowy day in the woods? It's perfect, Toot said. Standing back to admire his friend's work, there we are. Ooh, they made like a Christmas, it's cri a Christmas, moving Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. Sweet. You and me. Oh, isn't that precious? I see that picture. Yep, right there. there that's both of them. It's there. There's, it's so snowing precious. again. It's <laughs> snowing again. They're going sledding. Okay, that was it. Anything you want to say about that book? Do you like the new book? How many days are we away from Christmas? Three. Three days. You're exactly right. Kind of, right? All right. Yeah, today's Friday. We got Saturday. Sunday, which is Christmas Eve. Christmas! Yeah! Are we going to get wild? All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. Are we going to get wild? All right. Oh, you can say it out loud. You can say it out loud. Day after ta tomorrow, Uncle Joe coming home. I love you, Uncle Joe. All right. You want to go get Nana and Papa and Mom? What she doesn't know is Uncle Joe gets to come home tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.